Hey, welcome to the garage. I'm Greg, and it is day two of the official stay at home order here in Ohio. Thank God for Dr. Amy Acton. She's doing a badass job. Um, but that does mean that the garage is closed. It, you guys may have already figured this out. This is actually my basement, it's not the garage, but I do do some work here in the basement because uh, it's easier to film. Uh, but that has kind of put the kibosh on my carburetor rebuild video. I wanted to soda blast and vapor blast those carbs. That equipment is out of my hands at the moment. So, uh, I thought if everybody's stuck at home, maybe I would just throw up a video explaining sort of where I'm headed on this project. I'll throw up a photo of what the bike looked like when I bought it what the bike looks like right now and where I'm hopefully headed. I'll try and get uh, as close as I can to the design. We'll see. Uh, I might throw up a couple other color schemes too and just let people kind of discuss. Maybe that would be fun. Who knows? Let's take a look. looked when I picked her up in Pittsburgh. Uh, now I bought this because there's nothing original about this <laughs> and I really can't mess up some beautiful original bike by messing around with this thing. So uh, the only way is up from here I think. Uh, I wanted to uh, get rid of the Clubman bars, uh, get rid of those dog ears, get rid of the boots, on the front forks, uh, get rid of that OEM speedometer and tack, and really just kind of declutter that upper area. Maybe trying to do a seat pan and a cowl on the back and a, a, a new seat. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to be skilled enough to do that, but we'll, we'll give it a shot anyway. I'd like to clean up and paint certain parts of the engine. Um, I'm going to wrap the headers and hopefully work out some sort of exhaust. I was getting a lot of lean pop uh, on the D-cell, so I'm thinking maybe some exhaust might help a little bit of that. I think on this first build of mine, I'm going to just go with a rattle can on everything, paint the frame, the engine, the wheels, uh, some of the other pieces that I want painted. Uh, I'm going to forego the powder coating on this one. Um, I'm looking at a new set of shocks for the rear that will be probably black. Um, I have uh, clip-on handlebars already. I do not have the controls for that, but I am thinking of doing an M-Unit blue in a new electronics tray under the seat and so that'll probably lend itself to moto gadget controls and lights other than that i think that's about it and here's how she sits in the garage right now uh, i've already replaced the clutch and still have a few more things to do inside the engine uh, the engine runs really well uh, I just want to clean up a few of the pieces in there and then clean up a lot of the outside. Uh, sandblast and powder coat the frame. A huge thank you to Nolan Beck for the new front end there. Uh, that was totally free. He gave it to me off of his donor bike. Belonging to a co-op is so amazing. Everyone is so awesome in, in there. I'm sorry Brian, it's been there way too long. I gotta get that thing off of the stand. I will be in there as soon as this uh, stay-at-home order is lifted.
Should I go all in with a Cleveland Cavs bike? I don't know. I, is that dumb? That's pretty dumb, right? And I wanted to see sort of what it looked like with a lighter frame. And I'm not really digging it. I'm not really digging this one much.